Studio 33 AD, Catholic Media. Brothers and sisters in Christ, my name is Craig Summers, and I'm honored to be serving on your parish council this year. Safety and security of our parishioners and guests are always our top priority. In consultation with the blessings of our rector, we have established a committee to train and equip our parish volunteers to respond to any type of emergency. These parish members have been selected and vetted based on their qualifications and security and medical situations. Each of our team receives extensive skills assessments and ongoing training. The parish website contains a security page which outlines our emergency plan. Please take a moment to read this information and discuss with your loved ones. In addition to the action plan, Tom Kelly and Johnny Horn, who head up this ministry, have put together a video that further explains the mission of our Safety and Security Committee. Thank you so much. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video from our Safety and Security Committee. The safety of you and your family are our top priority. We, make, we want to make you aware of the duties of the Safety and Security Volunteers serving during the Mass. We also want to show you the steps you and your family can take to stay as safe as possible while attending worship services in the cathedral. First, let's talk about the safety and security team. Our team members have been selected for their experience and skills. They have undergone thorough interviewing and screening process and a background investigation. Many members of the team have years of experience in law enforcement, military, and emergency medical services. All members of the team are required to complete several skill assessments, including medical aid, firearm safety qualification to the Ada County Sheriff's Standard, and enhanced concealed carry certification. Volunteers have been assessed as a team in responding to various scenarios such as fire and evacuation, active shooter, and medical first aid. While our cathedral usher teams perform their tasks during the mass, our safety and security volunteers focus solely on safeguarding you and your family. Let's meet a few of our volunteers. Hello, I'm Dennis Blackstock. I'm a retired LA County Deputy Sheriff which I worked for 32 years. Uh, during that time, I did seven years of patrol, 25 years of detective work. I worked gangs, auto theft, burglary, child abuse, and investigated more than a dozen homicides. Uh, I volunteered for the security team because of Tom Kelly, and I've re uh, completed all the re necessary and required uh, safety courses. And uh, I'm here to volunteer for you my fellow uh, parish members, and tell some younger, stronger, and more able men step up and take my place. Thank you. Hello, my name is Kyle Bunker. I'm a parishioner here at St. John's. Many of you might recognize me and my family from the 2022 Easter baptism or activities around the parish or other parishes. My beautiful wife, Kate, two daughters, and myself, as I said, were all baptized last Easter. Our journey in the faith has been beautiful, and that is why I'm excited to continually serve the Catholic community. I love to volunteer where I can best use my past experiences and skills. I am currently on the safety and security volunteer team. I typically perform outside security function at 0800, and me and my family worship at 10 a.m. So my past experience, how this is relevant, is I'm a retired non-commissioned officer that served as a military police officer and patrol supervisor. My service in the Army, both deployments and stateside, have focused on security operations and law enforcement. It is fortunate that we have such a great team of volunteers who are all professionals and par parishioners with just as much experience and training as me and likely more. This ministry in itself has a deeply rewarding and continually provided moments of spiritual transformation that are such a blessing that I did not expect. It is my honor to serve with such a great team and to serve you all and continually meet so many great parishioners. Thank you for listening and, and may God bless you.
Our safety and security team consists of an outside and an inside security detail. The outside security volunteer can be distinguished by their uniform, a black security jacket and a baseball cap with our cathedral logo. The outside security is responsible for screening all parishioners and guests as they arrive. They will secure doors leading from the outside into the cathedral to ensure those entering the cathedral are screened. At times, the outside security may request to perform random inspections of persons and their bags before they enter into the cathedral. We ask for your cooperation if you are selected for random screening. The outside security will introduce themselves and explain what security steps they need to perform. They are authorized to ensure all guests entering the cathedral are complying with the safety policies. While we, if required, they can ask persons to pose, who pose a safety risk to leave the cathedral grounds and request local law enforcement assistance. Persons that disturb services, exhibit malicious behavior, or do not cooperate with volunteers or staff will be charged with trespassing. The inside security team responds to incidents within the cathedral. Should a security or safety incident occur, they will notify the usher team and security backup. The ushers and security team will identify themselves and show their badge. They may give directions or signals to the cathedral guests. This may include directions to take cover move to different seating areas, or evacuate the cathedral. It is important that you prepare your family to take directions from the safety and security team and usher team. Ushers may request assistance from parishioners with medical experience to assist in an emergency. The ushers and safety team have access to medical equipment and will call 911 if an emergent if emergency responders are required. In the event you see someone requiring medical assistance or detect a security risk, notify an usher or member of the safety and security team. Let's talk about what steps you need to take to help us protect your family. Let's talk about firearms. Idaho law, law allows for the concealed carry of a firearm for personal protection. This law applies to our parishioners. Parishioners may conceal carry a pistol and a magazine into the cathedral for their own protection. We request parishioners conceal weapons while attending Mass so as not to distract others. Parishioners should focus on protecting their family in the event of an emergency if security volunteers are present. Notify the ushers or security volunteers if you see anything suspicious, a safety threat such as fire or an unattended bag, or a medical emergency. Prohibited items include rifles, shotguns, explosives, noisemakers, items used to protest, intimidate, or distract, such as flags, banners, face paint, inappropriate attire, or makeup. These items are not allowed on the cathedral property. Brandishing a weapon or threatening others may result in an arrest. All parishioners are responsible for the safe use of their firearm. Never deploy your firearm unless there is an imminent threat to your life. Be mindful to do no harm to other parishioners, which means being aware of other people behind or around a malicious person. If faced with an active shooter incident, keep your muzzle pointed in a safe direction and your finger off the trigger until you intend to fire. Make your pistol safe, holster it, and conceal it before law enforcement arrives so they will not mistake you as a threat. Our teams have undergone extensive assessments in responding to protests, malicious behavior, and active shooter threats. 
you and your family should know where the emergency exits are located and rehearse moving from the church to safety or the designated assembly area in the event of a fire, building evacuation, or active shooter incident. Predetermine and practice a signal that you will use to alert each member of your family in the event that you see something suspicious. Keep calm and don't look directly at the suspect. Keep your facial expressions neutral and look for an opportunity to move to safety when possible. Be alert for directions or signals from the usher team or the security team. Here are some of the hand and arm signals that the ushers may use to direct you. Let's watch a video showing how families around a malicious person wait for opportunities to move while the security volunteer talks to and distracts the suspect. Watch as the security approaches malicious or violent persons and attempts to de-escalate the situation. Families should watch for cues from the ushers. Use your best judgment to signal to other members of your family to move to safety or take cover. Watch the FBI video on responding to an active shooter incident called Run, Hide, Fight and prepare a plan with your family. If you're a medical professional and able to assist in care and evacuation of disabled parishioners, advise your usher team as you arrive in the church or when an incident occurs. Stay calm and work with us to move all parishioners to safety in an orderly manner. We appreciate the opportunity to serve you and protect you. Let's work together to keep our families safe. Thank you. Studio 33 AD, Catholic Media.